fantastic working with you you're, you're a fabulous person to work with because uh, as an artist I'm not the easiest person to, to work with especially when my enthusiasm gets the better of me so what's been happening since we last met Michael well since we last met uh, I did have uh, a health problem uh, which I think now I've got under control uh, and uh, we've had to try a lot of tablets because I suffered extreme anxiety and depressed. It was just one of those things that happened. Uh, my wife uh, had to go into a care home and uh, I think I had delayed shock and uh, it caused me anxiety and depression and I did have it right once and uh, I stopped the tablets and that wasn't the right thing to do but the doctors in Tor Point have been absolutely fantastic with me, all the doctors, and they've now found the right balance. I won't say what the tablets are. Well, this is the reason you started cross-dressing in the first uh, place, wasn't it? Because your wife went into a home. Yes, yes, so because um, I was on my own, uh, I was pining for my wife, and I just felt I was looking at girls, and I just wish I had my wife with me. And uh, I thought to myself, well, I am an artist, uh, so I thought I'll start cross-dressing, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I, I can't pretend to you otherwise, and uh, now I actually do artistic dressing, I, I feel I've got a far more better scope, because the difference between cross-dressing is I haven't got my boobs in. When I'm artistically dressing, then that's what I mean by that. I'm just going to say that again because I'm not sure if I got that on film properly. When I'm cross-dressing, I have got my boobs in. When I am not cross-dressing, and it's called artistic dressing, then I haven't uh, got my boobs in at all. So what were the signs of your anxiety? Uh, the signs of anxiety was that I would think of something mainly to do with health. It was, it was to do with health. Uh, when you're on your own, uh, you would just go out and uh, not worry about tripping over. Uh, a simple thing like that, and then you think, well, who's going to feed my cat? Because I've got a cat at home called Napoleon. And none of these things even enter your head when there's a partner with you, or in my case, it was my wife. And uh, then the, the thoughts just ran and ran. And as soon as I got rid of one anxiety, another anxiety would come along. And I thought, well, I'm 66. Uh, so I'm just going to go for it. How do you think this uh, cross-dressing helped with the situation? Or did it, uh, could it have made it worse? I think the cross-dressing uh, was a distraction uh, from what was happening to me with my wife. Uh, because I got a big buzz from cross-dressing, and that means I've got the boobs in, uh, then I wasn't really uh, too concerned about my anxiety on such a high and a buzz. But now I'm all artistically dressing, I don't put the boobs in. Uh, and you don't dress as a woman, it's more in... It's, it's a man dressing artistically, as you can see. I, I, I've got all this on here today. Uh, this is fabulous. It's, it's more flamboyant than, uh, than, than camp. Yes, yeah. I, 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 I mean, the word camp is something that's put out by the media again. 
Uh, I mean, I, 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 I could talk strange if you wanted to, but I, I got no reason. To well, I don't like, I don't like the press anyway. All, all, I, all, all, all I think about the press is, is this whole sex and, and scandalise people and uh, titillate people's minds and then criminalise them. Yeah, but you couldn't say a true word there, Chris. I concur. Uh, but I'm just trying to let uh, the women out there have eye candy. Uh, the same as we have eye candy when we look at women. I mean, you know, only today we've been out on the whole uh, here in Plymouth and they've all had a good laugh with us. And, and I think it breaks barriers down. It's an icebreaker. If you're on your own, people can always come up and talk to you. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, conversations take place. I just enjoy it and I love artistically dressing and as you can see today I'm artistically dressing uh, and I just feel fabulous. Michael thank you very much for the update in May uh, 2012 and um, maybe you can catch up again and see how things progress. Chris I'd love to do it because uh, I've written the book uh, with about 30 pages now into it as I said the book I had to take a stop for a minute because depression and I wouldn't mind talking on camera a little bit more about depression because it's more prevalent than you realize and a lot of uh, these mood swings uh, come from that we don't want to not get on with one another but when you're in a depressed mood, it is very difficult to be around people. I think a lot of people are depressed at the moment. I think society is, is being stressed out constantly by making everybody anxious and, and vindictive towards each other. And it comes from the top, uh, going back to the media, the, pre the press has got a lot to do with that. And also the way the, government, the, the country is uh, governed as well. Well, I couldn't agree with you more, Chris. Uh, the people at the very top who set the rules and regulations, I'd love to go up to David Cameron and say, have you talked to a man in a dress? And, if he, uh, and then I say to him, if he said yes, I say, well, have you ever put a dress on? And you say, no, well, I said, you only represent <laughs> half the people then. That's tongue in cheek. If you put a dress on, he'd probably be work, working for MI5. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, that, but that was tongue in cheek. Yeah. Uh, I don't give away my politics because all I'm trying to do is let people be who they want to be. Yes, we don't all like the way people look, but that, that's the name of the game. We live in a multicultural society and if we don't get on with one another, there are consequences to that. So we've got to get on with one another. So even though you might not like something, let them have their say. I think it's going to get worse before it get, gets better because um, society is being made vindictive for the very reasons I've already mentioned. Well, you're absolutely right there. And you just draw my mind to desexualization of clothing. Uh, we have men and women. Well, in my opinion, we just have human beings because in desexualization of clothing, uh, it's an inanimate object, it can't hurt you, so don't change the clothes, change your mind and your attitude towards it. Michael, thank you very much.